hello there and welcome back to my channel so today we have an empties haul and me being the ratchet little channel that i am i have all of my empties in my cap that i never wear but it's actually so useful to like use to store things in okay so the first product that i have is like a really really sad one for me because it's a product that i really really like but it's expensive so it's like you know when you've been trying to cling on to something for like so long because you just don't know when you'll be able to like get another one like this is how i am about this but it's this steeler glitter and glow and this one is in the shade smoldering satin i was very kindly sent this by one of my subscribers which i mean to say i appreciate that is like the understatement of the century but this basically started off my love affair with the glitter and glowers by Steeler. I, I ha now have a few other, I almost said flavours, like I always do that. I always want to say flavours as opposed to shades, but um, yeah, so I have a few others now, but Smoldering Satin is by far my favourite one. I feel like this one is just the most glittery. It's the most stunning one of them all. I always get so many compliments when I wear this, even from men and like men very rarely like I think notice makeup. Whenever I wear this I just feel a million dollars. So for that reason I am definitely going to be repurchasing the Smoldering Satin Glitter and Glow. I would highly recommend it. If you've not tried any of the glitter, how many times can I say glitter and glow? I mean, really, guys, I'm going to just call it GG. If you've not tried any of the GGs, by, that just sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? But anyway, if you've not tried any of these, I strongly recommend that you treat yourself because you will not be disappointed. This is one of my favourite makeup products of all time. It does what makeup is meant to do, and that is it just makes you feel fabulous. So, yeah, I am so sad that it's come to an end, but... But it's not coming to an end. No, I'm when. This is not the end. This is just a, an empty, and then you can repurchase, and then it'll be, a, it will be again, again. It will happen again. Okay, so the next product that I have is the Garnier fucking BB cream. I love this. I know that this seems to be like a love it or hate it kind of product, but for me, it's been my long term trusty. BB cream like to call it BB cream I think is wrong because this has the coverage of a foundation it's got a beautiful kind of natural finish to it it lasts really really well on my normal to kind of oily skin I know can you believe it guys I actually think my skin is becoming more normal now which is insane like literally mind blown I've always kind of not taken the piss out of because like I would not do that but I've always questioned whether like does anyone actually have normal skin like really but I feel like my skin definitely is not as oily as it once was that could just be because the temperatures change like we've gone from a really hot summer into a nipple popping out chilly kind of autumnal season so anyway i love this if you've not tried it i so recommend that you do i always get the one for oily to combo skin is that why when i say skin oh my gosh like literally guys how strange am i right now but when i said skin i thought of hannibal lecter oh my gosh like what is wrong with me today i was thinking about Hannah, you know when she's down in the pit and he's like she rubs the lotion on her skin oh my gosh like anyway guys so yeah i always get this one in the thin long tube i tried the one in like the short tube do not like that one completely different formula so anyway i love this like literally i wear this to work i wear it when i've got no other makeup on i just know that if i reach for this it's not gonna let me down i fucking love it i've gone through about 10 of these and i'm definitely gonna be repurchasing definitely oh okay, actually i have repurchased i don't know where the feck it is but i actually did you know you love a product when you repurchase it before you've actually ran out that's when you know it's true love like really okay so next i have a mini uh kind of i don't know if this was a sample i, I think i may have got it in a birch box but this is the radiance primer by laura mercier i love this I did not want to like this. I always find that with products that are a bit more expensive, i.e. over £5, I always kind of go into it not wanting to like them because I don't want to have to like 
you know, buy them again. But this one, I can't deny it. I love it. It's quite a moisturizing primer. It leaves your face looking like slightly robotic, but not in a bad way. You know, when you have like a dewy radiant primer, it just makes your skin look like super like glowy and healthy. That's exactly what this does. It also leaves your skin feeling quite sticky. So it acts really well as a base to your foundation or BB cream, whatever you're going to pop on your face. It just acts as a really nice base. I love this. And I also, another thing to mention as well, even though this is quite small, I feel like I've had it for ages. Like, I feel like you only need the tiniest amount with this. So a little definitely goes a long way. This is definitely a product that I would repurchase, but I don't think that I'm going to be like rushing out to purchase it anytime soon because it is quite expensive and I do like experimenting with lots of different kinds of makeup. So I don't love it so much that I have to buy it again, but I feel like it'll definitely be there, you know, on my makeup wish list radar. And I'm sure that we will meet again. I'm pretty sure of it. Okay, so next we have two liquid lipsticks and these are two of my very favorite liquid lipsticks. Like I've got a million and one liquid lipsticks. Again, how many times can I say liquid lipsticks in, you know, one paragraph? But yeah, I've got so many of them. So I know I really love it. Love it. What? I know I really love that liquid lipstick when I run out. So the first one is probably my very favourite shade of all time. This is the Melted Matte in Child Star by Too Faced. The shade of this is unlike any other. If I can just drag a little bit out, I will do a little... Oh, yes. Oh, she's so sensational. <gasps> she is so sensational. She's a beautiful kind of dusky kind of pink shade. She does have like undertones of beige in her as well. And um, this is such a wearable shade it goes with every single like eye look you've got going on dark smoky eye perfection pink sparkly eye perfection natural eye that you couldn't really be asked doing at kind of eye look sensational i mean really guys i don't think the formula is the comfiest that i've ever tried but it's not too bad like it's it's kind of drying but it's not uncomfortably drying it's not my favorite formula but the shade of it just totally makes up for that do you know what i mean okay so the second liquid lipstick that i have is a little mini uh, that i got in the nudes kind of set from jeffrey star so this is the velour velour oh jeffrey velour i mean really guys so this is in the shade skin tight it's a super light uh, kind of pinky nude as you can see this is it it looks a lot like a creme cup by mac it's the perfect kind of nudie pink for me and um, i just love it and i'm so sad i've used it all up what a greedy person i am i mean really guys but i think i would definitely repurchase that um but again i wouldn't like rush out to buy it like I feel like Child Star is one that I am going to repurchase, whereas Skin Tight is one that I can wait a while for, you know? It's not like, like, I have to have it, but I would like it. Do you know what I mean? I'm making this whole repurchasing thing sound, like, way more complicated than it needs to be. Like, I've got different levels of repurchasing. Like, definitely, like, I will repurchase this. I repurchased this before I've even run out of the existing one. I would repurchase it, but not for a bit you know i'm not in any rush would not repurchase this would repurchase only if i became a multi-millionaire do you know what i mean so anyway guys okay so the next product i have is by maybelline this is the brow precise this is like, like a it's like a liquid like it's an eyebrow mascara is what it is there there i go again over complicating everything but it's got this funny kind of paddle brush it's quite thick and it's flat it looks unlike any other kind of you know um eyebrow mascara that i've ever seen before i actually really like this so this one is in the shade dark blonde i didn't like this shade because it just totally it did not look good on my eyebrows, but I've actually got two others in the shade. I think it's dark brown. Like, I think it jumps from dark blonde to dark brown. Like, I don't think there's anything in between, but this is a really amazing product for if you just cannot be asked. Like, literally, you're just like, feck the eyebrows, 
pop this on it's so easy to apply makes them look really neat really tidy and to say this locks them in place is an understatement you could literally like escape from a plane whilst it's flying jump out onto the wing and just like stand there like this with the wind coming on your face your brows would not move an inch you would probably of course like slip off the wing to a very grisly painful horrible death but you know your brows they would not move so i mean priorities guys like literally okay so next i have a concealer this is the conceal and define for makeup revolution i love this i really really love it but not as a concealer welcome to my world i love this as an eye base it's like the most perfect eye base ever so this one is in the shade c3 that i've run out of i also have another one which i still have quite a lot of product in this is in the shade c1 which is like super super light uh, this c1 is very light and a little bit more kind of i'd say neutral whereas c3 is more kind of it's a pink undertone but i would definitely say that c3 is my favorite one i feel like that just morphs into my skin a bit better uh, c1 is a little bit more stark and bright i feel like c1 would definitely be the best like under eye brightener um shade to go for but for my um you know eye base kind of situation i prefer c3 um i think it's not bad as a concealer but it's just a little bit too thick for me and because i'm like 34 30 i think i'm 34 i have no idea i can't get away with this unfortunately just a side note my very favorite concealer is the instant anti-age by maybelline holy vaginas and balls oh literally like that's my favorite one but yeah this is a perfect eye base don't be wasting your money on some kind of crazy ass expensive eye base use the conceal and define concealer it's amazing it's just okay so next i have a setting powder this is by primark and i'm very sad to say i don't think that they actually sell this anymore please feel free to correct me if i'm wrong but this is uh, the insta girl rose powder and uh, this is a pressed like powder and as you can see it's got like a pink tone to it i just found that this was not only a really beautiful kind of setting powder but it definitely did seem to like uplift my face a bit like it brightened my face a bit i don't think that this would work for anyone that didn't have like quite fair skin because it might look a bit off but for me like i love anything pink can you tell i mean really guys but yeah i really really like this it costs like four pounds if i can get it like i definitely would repurchase this without hesitation like oh now i've got another one would repurchase without hesitation i mean really guys like really to finish off guys we have two concealer no we don't oh my gosh like literally no we don't we have two mascaras so the first one is by essence this is the rock and doll crazy x x xl volume so i really like this one it's got quite a big wand which like i'm not the biggest fan of the wand and i do feel like it's one of those mascaras that you really have to like pay attention to what you're doing you can't be like multitasking when applying this because it, look it is quite big but i actually really like how it makes my lashes look it gives you that very like voluminous baby doll kind of effect so i actually really like the mascara but if you're not a fan of massive big feck off ones i mean really there's there's a a joke to be had here isn't there yeah yeah anyway i forgot what i was saying okay so the second mascara that i have i seem to have finished off in record time so this is the unlimited mascara by l'oreal it looks a little bit quirky like it's definitely not your average kind of you know mascara tube so this is meant to be like what's the word like i don't know flexible so you can like wiggle this one bit the handle bit so you can like you know get in all the nooks and crannies of your eyelashes like honestly i've only ever used it like this i mean and i feel like you know i've got through life this far without like fanning about with you know like my wand i don't feel like you need that like it's a total gimmick is what i'm trying to say but the actual mascara is fucking sensational so i love this 
wand it's actually so similar to the big bang mascara by benefit okay so this is the bad girl bang by benefit and this one is the l'oreal unlimited here as you can see they're very similar they both have that conic shape to them they're both rubber and they have really really small bristles so their brushes are just like identical virtually and i do feel like they give a very similar like look you know on the eyelashes i did do a first impression on the bad gal bang and i did not like it and that's probably the video that i got the most hate for people were telling me i did not know how to apply mascara i was like but anyway I would definitely say the unlimited one is a dupe for bad girl bang and i would definitely recommend this and i'm definitely going to be repurchasing at some point like it's not one that i need right away but at some point in the future i do see that i will be repurchasing this and it's a really good mascara and i totally recommend okay so that brings us to the end of my empties video i really hope that you've enjoyed it i hope that i didn't over complicate everything too much because i always tend to do that but i hope you're having a wonderful day it's just about to piss it down with rain here like the sky has gone gray and i probably look like i've changed color but oh my gosh like i love it because we're going to watch harry potter and we're going to get all cozy downstairs we've got popcorn we've got massive lollies <gasps> Oh my gosh, like literally, she's so excited. But anyway, guys, I hope you're having a lovely evening as well. And I'll see you in the next video. But I was just about to say as well, like when I said I hope you're having a great evening as well, I was about to say all morning or lunchtime or early afternoon, I thought I'm going, feck off. Feck right off, I'm going with your over complicating everything. I mean, really, guys. But anyway, I will see you in the next... But anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.